Quite fascinating, isn't it? How I can control the lights just by thinking about it. This is made possible through BCI backed by EEG. Our brain is made up of about 6 billion neurons. However, in the context of an EEG, we will be considering a special type of neuron called pyramidal neurons which are arranged perpendicular to the cortical surface. Each of these neurons is polarized and when stimulated, releases acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter at the synapse. This chemical can induce either a positive potential or a negative potential in the receiving neuron. The positive potential is generated due to an influx of cations such as sodium and potassium which attracts the negative charges from the intracellular region to form a dipole. The opposite dipole occurs when a negative potential is generated. And just like in a circuit, current starts flowing from the positive end of the dipole to the negative end. These potentials and its variations are detected by the EEG electrodes placed on the scalp and are then plotted as a graph. These signals are then further classified into alpha, beta, gamma and so on based on their frequencies. Each of these waves correspond to different states of consciousness or cognitive processes and show changes on focusing on a particular thought or expression. A brain-computer interface makes use of this change in pattern. Initially, it records the brain in its relaxed state and then with the help of machine learning algorithms, later uses it as a normal state to identify the changes in the wave patterns, giving the system the ability to differentiate between different thoughts. These thoughts can then be assigned to specific computer commands to execute a desired action like moving a bionic limb and motorized wheelchair to playing video games. BCI devices hold the potential to transform the lives of people with disabilities, providing them with a chance to live an independent life.